This bike stick video is brought to you by Dry Rider, innovative motorcycle clothing since 1980, and SC Project, advanced exhaust technology. So as everyone knows, we've been testing the SC Project slip on, slip on exhausts on this BMW S1000RR. And the latest one we've had a look at is the Conic uh, model, which is a street legal slip on exhaust system. So quite a few of the SC Project models uh, are predominantly for racing. And uh, we looked at the GP70R, which I'll talk about in a second. The Conic model, as I said, is street legal and has a removable baffle. Just pull out a circlip and it slide, the baffle slides straight out. Now, the quality of this is extremely high. We went for the titanium option. You can get a carbon fiber option as well. Uh, they both have the carbon fiber end, end cap. Now the quality, quality of the riveting, the quality of the pieces, the quality of the welding is extremely high end. They're pretty much made to order. When you go online and buy these, an order is sent to Italy where they're manufactured and then you get it about six to eight weeks later. And uh, well worth the wait. Now, how does it compare to the original one from terms of sound? So in the following video, you'll see where we've, try, uh, we've run the standard muffler and then swapped it out, it takes about five minutes to change these over, and then we've started it up with the Conic on. So have a listen. Okay, sounds pretty good. Now, the other question that comes up is, what do these perform like? Now, what we've done is we've taken the SC Project Conic, and we've taken the GP70R muffler. We took this to uh, powerhouse dyno tuning on the Gold Coast here, and we had them fit a power commander to the bike so we could tune this properly, and then we compared the two. Now, the GP70R, first of all, notice uh, this is not a street legal muffler. It's obviously a racing muffler. So it's got a hole the size you can stick your fist down. The hole is much smaller in terms of uh, what's uh, on the Conic street legal version. Now, how much do they differ? Okay, so we stuck it on the dyno tune after we fitted the power commander. And the results were quite interesting. With the GP70R, we got a maximum horsepower at the rear wheel using the SAE profiling or charting mechanism, uh, which accommodates for altitude and humidity. So it gives us a more accurate result. With the GP70R, we got 207.31 horsepower at the rear wheel. Okay, that's with the power commander mapped and tuned properly for this particular bike. We then swapped it over for the Conic, and with the Conic, here's the interesting thing. With the baffle in, okay, it pulled out about 30 horsepower, so it was in that 170 to 180 horsepower range with the baffle in. With the baffle out, we got 206.9 horsepower at the rear wheel, uh, using the same standard and comparing it against the GP70R. So mapped with the Power Commander, 206.9 horsepower at the rear wheel with the baffle out. Stick the baffle in, we pull out about or lose about 30 horsepower. Now, um, the interesting thing is why would, it be, why would that be the case? Well, first of all, my assessment of it is that the GP70R is a full-blown race muffler. So have a look at the size of the hole here. And this is more suited to a full race exhaust system and a bike that's going to be run on the track. This particular bike still has the catalytic converter in it, so the Conic muffler is more suited to what is actually being run here in this configuration. And uh, that's why we get such high horsepower out of this and not much of an advantage by having this particular one. So, you know, we're talking half a horsepower difference between the two products uh, in the case of the street legal version with the baffle out. And uh, I've got to say, for this particular bike running the catalytic converter, we're going to leave the street legal version on. We're going to put this on our track bike, uh, where it's probably going to offer the greatest benefit. Now, the difference between uh, with and without a baffle, so the baffle that comes with the uh, muffler, it's pretty much a, a, a drop it in, stick in a circlip, and it's in place. And all it's simply doing is forcing the exhaust to go through the padding and the baffles in there. So that little blockage has a huge effect on horsepower. So like I said, around about 30 horsepower, according to the results on the dyno. And uh, it, it forces the engine to run way, uh, way richer than it does without it. So we found a significant difference in terms of how rich it was above 6,000 RPM. And uh, we're gonna run this without the baffle. Runs much cleaner, much crisper. As I said, it's running about 206.9 horsepower at the rear wheel. So there you have it. Uh, highly recommend the Conic muffler for street bikes, bikes that are running catalytic converters 
And uh, I'd also recommend that you stick a power commander on, which is probably the most appropriate fuel management system for a bike that's going to be run on the street and part-time and, and part on the track. If you're going to full-blown track bikes, then you'd be thinking about ECU flashing and that type of thing. But uh, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that.